Hey everyone, let's just wait for people to show up and watch the opening cutscene for a while. It'll start soon-ish. Starting... When I call your name I Sir Crest So please don't set me free I'm as heavy as can be I will do you harm I will break my arm I'm a victim of your child I want to be dead. In case you guys are wondering, yeah, there are lesbians in this game, but it's not a very good depiction of lesbians, because they're all, like, crazy. I would like to shame you. I would like to blame you. Like, those two, like, she's in love with the redhead, and the two, the main character was, like, in this lesbian relation there's like a lot of lesbian things happening but it's like really scary it's very scary lesbians this game is scary lesbians the game hi Essexen hi Hisokano hi Elk Miss His Casanova H Casanova 97 Ben Drowned Strawberry Jan In case you guys are wondering, um, yeah, I did play this yesterday, but I want to start it over because not a lot of people saw it, so that wouldn't be fun for everybody. I want to make sure everybody sees the beginning of the game so we can all go through together. I played this last Halloween, and I got so frustrated with the game that I, like, stopped playing because <laughs> Rule of Rose is a fickle thorn, but, um... Since I've been going through all the games that I've never finished before, I figured we can finish this game together. Also, you can see that she has black hair in one of the cutscenes. In early development, she actually did have black hair and then they changed it, but they kept, see how they keep switching to her up having black hair? They just kept that cutscene for the credit stuff. The combat in this game is so shit. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's a very creepy game. It has scary lesbians in it, so... <laughs> but it says, hashtag scary lesbians. I think I have a save for after the mermaid boss, because that fucking boss is impossible. I swear to god, I would kill myself. But in her mouth. Finger in her mouth. Blah. Blah. 
I think I have a save for after the mermaid boss. If not, I can go find a save and download it. And uh, we don't have to deal with the mermaid boss too harshly. There's this girl who I had a crush on when I was a teenager and I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> Game is super messed up, so if you can't handle themes of like creepiest shit in the world, whatever. Brett, don't feel obligated to stay during the stream because I modded you. I just trust you, so I was like, all right, mod crest. I've seen Strawberry Jam before, and uh. Oh. My name is Joshua. I know Papa I'm Ken, so I'm gonna mod him. I just. I just mod people who I'm like, they, they seem familiar. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. <laughs> yeah, don't feel pressured to stay, Sir Cress. It's true. <laughs> hey, Mama, Mama Samaza, or whatever. Okay. So now we're gonna start rule of rose from the beginning because I don't want anybody to miss and whatever. We're gonna start from the beginning, and I'm gonna finish this game. This game is so hard, and it's not hard in the like this is challenging kind of way. It's hard in the why is she so bad at moving like a human being? Hard like she closes her eyes, turns her head away, and wags her hand at the monsters, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> bye, p Okay, bye, Brett. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, the princess of the Red Rose, was always... At her side. Let me know if the game audio is loud enough. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. In Japanese culture, moth means um, Jennifer, your ancestors Jennifer, are coming to visit you from the me, dead. Jennifer. Read the story. Please read the story. What happens next? What's this? Although her name does change throughout the game. Also, I'm wearing purple lipstick. You guys can't see it, but I hope that you feel it. March 1930, The Little Princess. Personally, this game is really fucked up, but I feel like it covers the themes of like emotional trauma pretty pretty respectfully. I feel like it doesn't do it, I mean it does do it to shock you and scare you, but I feel like it does it in this way that's like, 
I always feel that horror can cover really fucked up things because it's supposed to be fucked up. Like if they, like when, for example, like rape, like sometimes it can be depicted as really fucked up, but sometimes horror movies will depict rape as not something that's pornographic, but as something that's really terrible and scary and hurts you. And I feel like horror movies and horror games depicts that the way that it is, which I feel like in other mediums where they do rape for drama and stuff, I feel like um, it doesn't do as good a job. So I feel like horror can cover things like traumatic experiences in a more respectful way than other genres can. That's why I like horror. It can do that without being disrespectful. It's like, this is fucked up, and yeah, it is, and you should appreciate that this is fucked up. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, the Princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. The princess, too, disappeared, leaving the girl all alone. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. I'm sorry, user idiot. All right, how many people are having use buffer issues right now? And so the story begins. A mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl, Jennifer, had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. Because I can downscale it to 720p if you guys are having problems. Because I'm not partnered, so I don't get the option to make it, so there's like less stuff. Hmm. Let me see if I can fix that for you guys. How long have I been streaming for? Just a few minutes, not that long. Let's see if I can fix this for you. Good night. I can't see your name. Seth Ro Ronan. 